happens to us so often where a potential client will visit one of our showrooms and ask for engineered wood flooring. When we ask them why they're interested in engineered, they reveal that they were in a carpet store who told them they needed to go with engineered flooring. It may be because they live on the water or they leave their home vacant for part of the year with little humidity control or a number of other reasons. The fact is engineered flooring is still real wood and will react virtually the same way in those environments. The only difference is that solid hardwood flooring is the same wood through the entire thickness and engineered flooring has hardwood on the surface and plywood or another material on the underside. The only time you really need to install engineered flooring is when you're gluing it directly to concrete or if it is being installed below grade. Other than some specific solid hardwood products like quarter sawn oak, you will typically want to install engineered flooring over any type of radiant heat. The truth is, engineered hardwood flooring is more stable than solid hardwood but it is still a wood product and not without issues. It is not the perfect alternative to solid wood flooring that carpet stores and some manufacturers promote it as. Engineered flooring does give you the ability to go with a wider plank, but your relative humidity levels must still be controlled to the same level as solid hardwood flooring, which is between 30 and 50%. Some large hardwood flooring manufacturers advertise that their engineered flooring can handle a humidity range between 20 and 70 percent. Yet their warranties don't cover the cracks and checks that this extreme humidity fluctuation would cause. One area where solid hardwood flooring outperforms engineered flooring is in a dry environment. When solid hardwood flooring is exposed to a humidity level below 30 percent, it will shrink causing gaps between the boards. When engineered flooring is dried out, you can have either dry cupping or develop cracks in the boards. This happens because the surface wood layer shrinks and the plywood below doesn't. On thinner engineered products, this dry climate can cause what is called dry cupping. The surface wood layer shrinks, causing it to curl up and brings the lower layers with it. This can also occur in products with a very large thick surface wood layer which will overpower the plywood below. If this continues to be exposed to a dry environment, the surface layer can delaminate from the plywood backing. Our Gaylord engineered flooring is the perfect balance between having a thick surface layer, but not one that overpowers the plywood below. We have never experienced our engineered flooring dry cupping, but it will certainly crack. The surface wood layer wants to shrink and the plywood backing won't let it. Eventually this pres pressure will cause the surface board to crack and check. We also have clients who are under the impression that engineered flooring is more durable than solid hardwood flooring. This isn't the case. Engineered flooring is still wood on the surface, so it will be the same durability as solid wood. Our engineered flooring is finished at the exact same plant the exact same way as our solid hardwood, so the durability is exactly the same. Our engineered flooring is by far the best engineered on the market. It comes in lengths up to 12 feet and widths up to 10 inches. Most engineered flooring is 5 eighths of an inch thick or thinner and comes in lengths less than 7 feet. Even in wide plank boards which make for a very choppy looking floor. Our engineered is also random lengths, the same as solid hardwood. Most imported engineered floors come at neither either one set length or a combination of a few different lengths, providing a very patterned and fake looking floor. Our Gaylord Engineered is also three quarters of an inch thick, so it can be nailed down just like solid hardwood. It can also be floated or fully glued down to concrete or over radiant heat, making it very versatile. The ideal engineered floor to be installed over radiant heat is quarter sawn white oak. Not all wood species are suitable for installation over radiant heat. Feel free to contact us to discuss options for your engineered hardwood flooring. If you want more information on installations over radiant heat, please check out our YouTube video on that subject. Thank you.